What's up guys, this is the Roverman and I am back to bring the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States. So to round off where we left off, a Russian army has wandered perilously close to one of our armies and we have the opportunity to intercept it and we absolutely shall be doing so. Because it gives us a nice opportunity to chew up a Russian army from a good position. So let's fight. I hope this one all too often is that... Well, it feels like the game will, at points, just decide that you're not on a river, and it'll still be fine. Um, I just think a river battle might be fun. Fun at watching an enemy army get slaughtered, and also to know that we've chewed up a Russian f Russian army pretty comprehensively. Especially with the... It'd be nice to peel apart as many of the armies as possible. Right. So in theory, this is a good... This is the... Okay, so if I put you... Then let's pick... I'll redeploy these in due course. When the army gets... When the deployment zone changes, put my rifleman scouts up here to peck at the peck at the people as they cross the bridge and that's probably enough for here so I'm going to group them all as one unit then where's the crossing point there it is to be honest I think I might just put these up here to fire at everyone they can see might even space them out a little bit better because the remaining infantry's job will be to secure the crossing. Lancers will be waiting here because of the cavalry. The general just will just be chilling, chilling out here. Okay, I lost it for a second there. General's dead with the immediate salvo. Something like this, I think. Good, so my guys are going to be ready. To be honest, it looks like they're all except for the cavalry. Going to focus on this river crossing, which is always... I think that's what the AI normally does. So that's why it's usually quite a good idea to focus fire in such scenarios. So let's get the shrapnel shot going. Let's get these guys to start picking at troublesome units. Like the cavalry are a troublesome unit. shot should do a to be honest hold fire because they're clearly not going to take this bridge we are going to cross it and this guy can just start firing round shot at the enemy positions that's their general's bodyguard coming in. To 
be honest, just form two squares. They'll be able to receive the charge quickly enough. Let's try to get a union of guards in. Some more cavalrymen coming in, but I think we shall be sufficiently prepared. Let's get this trap star flying round shot at the pikes that are trying to cross the river and make sure these guys are shooting at appropriate targets. To be honest, all these cavalrymen should be suitably destroyed before they get to the front line. They've realised what I'm doing. There is no cavalry, so advance up my riflemen scouts ahead of the main force. Oh, I forgot my expats. Let's just march my expats over here. Get ready because there's dragoons have been spotted. So let's advance my infantry up a bit quicker. Oh, these poor souls. Two very depleted units. Oh, and these two units of line infantry have gone the wrong way. Well, one of them has. Good. Good. Fortunately, that unit was already depleted. Yep. So run my Rofeman scouts up and have my infantry following up at a steady pace. Because they'll snipe the guns. Okay, let's make sure my guns aren't killing my own men. Fire on the mercenaries. Although I can foresee a disaster here. So let's route that infantry around the back of my cannons. Yeah, they're all falling back. Let's get these rifle and scouts reloaded. Breach loading riflemen scouts, no less, so the rate of fire should be. What's the rate of fire? I think it's reloading skill that defies that. Oh, re no, actually, that's, that's yeah, the speed they reload. So they're still much slower, but I suppose that makes. Well, I don't know. Should a breach loading light infantry unit reload faster than a muzzle loading light infantry unit? Maybe they do. these chaps. Fortunately their morale is such that they will try to well they might, may try to keep coming back but they'll be up in for uh, they will be in trouble let's turn fire well off for these guys because my, my rifleman scouts are doing a very good job at taking out these artillery units Okay, so you both attempt to continue skirmishing that infantry unit. No, it doesn't matter. Let's Instead, let's make up ground. 
and let's turn firewall back on for these guys. Oh, they did manage to pick off enough of my guys then. Fair enough, they won't have many opportunities to do that. Turn off fire at will. One general is to be deployed. Yeah, you guys chase after them, that's, that's okay. So let's turn off all artillery. Next pan infantry, guerrilla mercenaries. Probably turn these guys fire well off as well. Bring the general's bodyguard across and hit the Eastern European mercenaries. Actually, I'll send the lances into them. General's bodyguard continue to mow down the retreating troops. So my lancers should be more than enough to handle these guys. Ah, oh, cute, they came back. But they're still not very happy at what's happening. I literally charged a unit, a, a, a guerrilla mercenary unit that was running away, and it goes, your general is in difficulty. Is he? Is he really? I don't think he is. I can't even see where these guys are shooting. Probably escaped. Chase him down. Firewall's turned off. Good. Triple speed. Continue. Turn off firewall for my scouts as well. Close. Close. I crossed. Granted, it wasn't lopsided, but still. Well, it was fairly lopsided. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Go back, Peter. Does anyone else fancy a crack? Okay, so their armies are heading east. <gasps> oh, I thought he was going to come back for another go. Good old Peter. Okay. Go to the river crossing and secure there. Keep going on with the old building. Let's get you replenished and ready. Yes, sir. You can push up and around now. Because the whole the push, such as it was, seems to have petered out quite significantly, and this guy's got way too much artillery. Way too much. Onto that for now. Just want to check other things. So if I push you onwards through the woods, okay. So they've given up Finland, essentially. Let's edge this chap up to the to the central area. Start to bring these guys around. So you'll go on and secure Finland. Upgrade the religious building. Successful mission. Yankton. Oh yeah, everyone's almost in position. Yes. So if I bring you, bring you up as well. You're. Are you reinforcing him? No, you're just even more. Reinforcements. Path 
blocked? Sorry. Not really. Make ready. Okay, so the time is coming to start to knock out some of these Indian troops. Oh, did not like that. Okay, so let's go to back to my fort. Advance up Nathaniel Winthrop. No stationed at this fort. As things stand, Charles Hawthorne could easily be occupied by an enemy army. Can stay. Yes. Gifford can't. He has to go all the way up or all the way down. So we're going to go down to here. Oh. Armies are still on the move. Build some of these happy towns and start to make Persia Protestant. Good stuff. Sir. You're on the march down, so I would. Firstly, I want to start engaging the Marathas, but I also want to start engaging the Russians. But who'd pick? Because I'll take Astrakhan. Let us attack and capture the city. In this, and this way I can send this army then around to clear up Russian rear echelon areas. Sooner I mop up Russia, I end up actually moving on to uh, India. And I've just realised, once I capture these rear areas, those Russian armies in Finland and all that sort of stuff, I could... Ooh, okay. Oh, this is a good position for some artillery. And to be honest, this area down here... Ooh, that's not bad either. Oh, not so great. This area is better because it's a bit more open. And let's put... Deploy some howitzers. Fill the. Okay, I need one more unit. Pick one that's sort of the same strength. Ah, oh, come on, you were deploying a second ago. Okay, one more. That might be too many. But I've got loads of infantry, so I'm not so worried about it. Two guards and two line. Secure the right flank. A guard, two guards and one infantry secure the left. Light infantry on the left as well, but it's a bit... It's a bit depleted to do much useful. General in the centre. Let's rock and roll. Ooh, they're... they're Okay, you guys go shrapnel shot against the cavalry. The howitzers have gone after them as well. Bowser's okay, let's redeploy you guys. Not redeploy, but retarget. put them the wrong way around. You have. So this will be an interesting strategy to try and bring them the right side of the stakes and then run that way. <laughs> okay, and I run over this side again. It will be going on, on the other side, but there's only 22 Dragoons over there. <laughs> oh. So if I set him up... 
Ah, they're coming back. They're not going to have a chance to get a volley off because these guys are waiting. Charge them. Run across the stakes. Bring them with you. Stop shooting. Come on. Ah, oh, they're not falling for that. Skirmish them now. There's not that many of them. Going in on the charge. But let them. They're squishy light cavalry, I don't care about that. Okay, let's start punching some holes in the Russian troops. Mortars are back there, but they're idle. Up. We've still got artillery being a nuisance back there. How it says as well, so it could be quite devastating. To target my howitzers to make sure they've got useful things to shoot at. You guys canister shot the militia because they will be coming after you with their little pointy sticks. goes back because they've got some sneaky pikes coming around the flank. Hit them with my quick line. Good focus fire has got the militia to fall back. You go after the Siberian hunters, you go after the Cossack infantry. Okay, let's start to pick apart the pikes. especially because they will like you very much. Oh wow. I thought that was a really effective light infantry volley. Let's go send the guard regiment to do a long run to get to the mortars. Bring my infantry to the crest of the hill. Go for the militia again because they're back. Push out my infantry again, even though it's not ideally placed. Yep, they're against my guards now. It looks like they're fixing to charge my lines, which is they're more than welcome to do. That's perilously close, close uh, canister shot. They will fall though against in the face of my artillery. Start dropping shots on their on their artillery. If that's not killed, then my very very tired guards will run around and kill them from the flank. Because it looks like they are broken. Ah, oh, one general's bodyguard. It's the general. Get him. Okay, all of you, shrapnel shot. Go for the general's bodyguard. Although it looks like 
some of them are having difficulties. Well, if we see the general has died, then at least we know. 41st foot guards. You need to angle those barrels high, lads. Ah, oh, they got nothing. Let's do round shot. Let's let my quick line firing howitzers do actual battlefield targets. All of my artillery go for their general. They're all after him, but no one's hit. Yeah, and they're just going for that unit. Good. I want to provide them a new target so they don't chase after my guards in the rear areas. Everyone just shoot the general. If he's going to stand there and or sit there and just get shot to bits, then why not? see what kills him first. Could just be the almighty firing squad. Oh, no. This general is strong F. Trying to get rid of his hit points. Was charging in. Got him. <laughs> it was the uh, it was the firing squad that got him. So I could have been clever and flanked these around to the town, start to try to cut these guys off from retreating. But to be honest, I don't mind so much. Oh no, because this is a city victory, so a city battle. So why would I worry about that? A win is a win. Total defeat of the enemy. Heroic victory indeed. Oh, it means I've got running around capturing... Capturing the settlements to the rear. Let's replenish them. Good. So how's everyone else doing? You are en route to Kazan. I might have to fight a really annoying little bridge battle. But then I will attack the city, which is completely undefended, except for a cool unit of Cossacks. Yeah, once these guys are ready, they will immediately move towards Ust, and then whoever's first out of these two, this one will probably win, because it's got the, the road, will attack Ufa, and the other one will begin the large, the long trek south to join their kin. All the while. So yeah, it's these three, Petrovskaya and Finland, but I'd like to suck, suck them into more... Bridge battles. That would be fun, I think. Because I don't want to move these guys forward, because I know there's lots of armies in this area, and I don't want them to ambush me. I want to keep these guys in a bit of cover. Let's do a lot of rebuilding. I want to try... I mean, even though it's, it's kind of moot now, I'd still like to start getting more priests and sending them out through my lands. This army could be useful. Good. Let's embark you. You know what? You... I don't know why I, s I, don't know why I thought, ah, I'll sell him to the med. No. This guy can start my cross sea invasions and there's a building that needs to be rebuilt good stuff 
also infrastructure checks. I mean, they should all be pretty good by now. This is late game. Everyone's had the tech. Everyone can upgrade it, and everyone can see that it's useful to do. Good, and you're still there waiting. Okie dokie. So then, let's... Let's take Petrovskaya. But, looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing persecution of the Russians. I want to keep the Marathas on a bit of a boil. Let them gear up their economy more to produce war materials against me. Radio. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching.